Welcome back, guys, for the potential final episode of the Harkold Shady Lock. And we are finally in the league, and we're taking on the last three members and then the champion. Let's just get right into it. Like, if you guys missed the last episode, go check it out. Always list in the playlist in the description down below. But I'm ready to get this game finished. So, like, I'm just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. You can see the team is right below, not below me, but it's right to the side of me, other side of me, that one. <clears throat> Except for Invisible Brandon, and apparently Invisible Koga too, you know? All right, perfect. This is something Gus can fight very easily. I was fighting these in Victory Road with like no problem at all. So I'm not even worried about this guy. Up, 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 bam. Monferno. I had a brain fart for what a Monferno was. Wow, Monferno actually kind of like wrecks most of my team. That's kind of crazy. <clears throat> Sorry, Cormo will probably just take him out nice and quick. Must be weary of Infernape though. <clears throat> and Blaze again for that matter. I didn't realize that it kinda like just runs through my team. If they're holding onto a good fire and fighting move, uh I kinda just wanna stay in. Yeah, I'll just stay in. Save uh Gus's flamethrowers. Good Dark Pulse. We still got some good special attack. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I might be dead. Hmm. Uh, well, I know how it's speed. I'm also just not gonna. I'm, I know that Shadow Ball is gonna take it out now, because I saw how much Dark Pulse did. I really feel like I should die to that Avalanche. Like, I don't think Jinx has the best physical attack, but still, I feel like I should have. Alright, this time I am going to switch out to Gus. Cormo's a little bit injured. We'll, we're just going to make sure he stays in the game, you know? Cormo's been with us for a long time. Really deserves to see the end. I think he actually might be, like, the longest member on the team right now. It's either him or it's, uh, Brandon. Pretty sure, like, uh, Ramsey the Shroomish we caught, like, a little bit later. But I don't know, it's exciting, you know, seeing uh, what everyone is doing, how they've evolved over time, pun intended. Let's go to Ramsey, see how he handles this ex explode. Punch it right in its tongue. Nope, that sounds weird. Right in its uvula. Nice, nice, way to dodge Ramsey. And one shot. Let's go, Ramsey. <clears throat> Nurse Joey, you are nothing. All right. Who's next? I want to say it's Bruno. Am I right? Karma was the only one who took damage in that, and it was kind of because of a bad play on my part. <clears throat> Let's see, am I right? Is it Bruno? It is Bruno. Yeah, I know the Johto lead four pretty well. Do I know anything besides their names? Not really. 
Oh, Robin? Yeah, Robin? Alright, here we go. Nurse Robin. That's the name that, like, truly feels like it would be a nurse's. Like... Ooh. Okay. Um... Like, yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, Nurse Robin's taking care of you today. Yep, mm-hmm. She'll be looking at your butt. I'm sorry that's been uncomfortable for you to sit on for reasons. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm saying it. Nurse Robin. Nice, nice, nice. Gus, you're proving pretty effective on the team. I really appreciate adding you, and I really appreciate that I could buy a Magmarizer. I don't know if you would have evolved without it. Typhlosion in the rain. So, obviously we're going for Brandon. Oops, sorry. And waterfall. Oh no, I'm being flamethrowered in the rain. Uh, I'm fine. And you are definitely gone on that. Is this his ace? 46 feels like pretty high. What a pro play. Actually, I'm probably might just stay in with the rain up. Yep, definitely staying in with the rain up. And waterfall. Yep, your fire blast is going to be very effective. <clears throat> Nice, good 20 damage. Great, good job. You really did us proud. Yeah, I think 46 is actually his ace. Feels bad that he, has, that he sent out a Drizzle Chimeco to start the battle. Didn't even bring a water type to a water fight? What are you doing, Robin? I was gonna say Bruno, but I was like, nah, 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 Robin. Here we go, here we go. We get to use Kage. I could also use Ramsey for this, but I think Kage deserves a little bit of light. Earthquake. He also has hammer arm, but I want to make sure this small while goes down. I really feel I feel like Mamoswine could definitely use hammer arm, right? He just like lifts up his little like elephant leg and just kinda bam. Smack it down. Masquerade, your Bug and Feline. Oh, I think Kage is the most effective thing to fight this. I was gonna let it get the hit off on me though, and go for the Ice Fang. Or not, I really thought it was gonna outspeed me. Nice, nice, nice. <coughs> Don't worry about that. I think I have 92 speed. I'm guessing the things that I was fighting in Victory Road were giving me quite a few speed EVs. Brandon was the only one who took damage that battle. You know, I just realized I haven't used any serious healing items and I have like 70 of them. Alright, Karen. Fight me with your dark types. Esteban. Great name. Mmm, Jolteon. I might be able to one-shot you. Mm. Let me let me switch out to Kage. I, I'm pretty sure Jolteon gets double kick, but like I'm also not that scared of double kick. Yep, there it is. Okay, it only does 20 each hit, that's fine. And you're gone. Goodbye!
Goodbye. Nailed it. Mr. Mime. Let's go. That's your special defense. Okay. Let's go Apple for it, though. Apple's got me pretty good, you know? I really didn't think the Munchlax that I caught during the baby episode was going to be extremely useful, but he's proven otherwise, especially as he's evolved. I really appreciate you not getting that special defense drop. Nice, nice. Giraffe a rig. I mean, really, I think Apple's still my best bet here. Ooh, okay, you're the ace. Look at that crunch. <laughs> oh, you, yo, you, yo, you missed it. You had to open up your other set of eyes on your butt. Okay, what do you have? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, you landed this time. As long as you don't flinch me, I'm fine. Nice. Pretty easy takedown. A Snorlax with that juicy HP just taking it out. Pretty juicy, pretty juicy. We're a juicy apple. Ooh, for alligator, hello. Uh for alligator carries ice fang. Do I think he has it right now, though? I'm on the fourth member of lead four. I think I can take the risk at this point. Also, this for alligator isn't her ace, so I, I, ooh, I'm on par with it. Okay. We go straight for the seed bomb. Flash. Okay. I'm not confident though. He isn't like baiting me into confidence. Oh man, I wish I had Mock Punch. Let's go. Go for the Poison Jab. Nice. I think even if he crits me, I'm fine. And it should take him out. And a Persian. Alright, I can't fight with Ramsey being that low HP, but that's why I gave Kage Hammer Arm. I wonder if I'm gonna get faked out. I feel like he learns fake out at way too low of a level for him to still have it at this point. He probably has Slash, would be his best move to use. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Know my Pokemon knowledge decently. Not current generation knowledge. That's actually pretty lackluster. The most recent, like, two generations, I just... Mm, I, I did not lean into enough to know the information. Oh, yeah. Elite 4, B. Alright, we're done. Bye. That's what it kind of feels. Whoop! I think my controller died. I'm hoping I can make it last throughout the last trainer. Yeah, we need a little bit of potions here and there. I've only got four left though, so... You're one of my lower ones. Seems like I can pretty much heal everyone uh, with just two of them, but... There we go. You know what's funny is I barely use Cormo. 
he's so good, but the thing that the things he's actually like super effective on, he's also weak to. So your ghost types, your psychic types. <sighs> I'm just gonna hit the save button again, just in case anything messed up, because these ROMs are known for being troublesome. Did you guys ever wonder why they put Dratinis on these pedestals? Because I've wondered all the time, why Dratini? Why not Dragonair, because it's bigger, or like Dragon Knight, because it's like even more powerful. Or like, what the heck are these things like moving on the side? Like, what are those? They're super distracting though, I'll tell you that. Oh, he's also named Esteban. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're the Esteban twins, what of it? Oh, he's actually champion too, that's so fun. Uh, okay, don't like this. I need to get into Brandon, but I'm not confident this thing doesn't have a ground type move. And that he wouldn't just go for it right now. I'm definitely checking. This is a pretty important time. Let's see. And four. Uh, let's see. Well, he can. Egg move on, uh, Poison Jab? That's kind of wild. Let's see, what level is he? He is 46, so he's got Stone Edge, Hammer Arm, Horn Drill, and Takedown. Horn Drill's a little scary. I've got a level on him, so, like, the best thing he can hit me with is Stone Edge, um, on... I can't remember his name. On Gus. So, obviously that's what he's going to use. And then I just get off the surf. And he's gone. Unless he's holding like a Focus Sash or has Sturdy. It would have been pretty bad though if he had a uh, Arena Trap. Okay. Took that down pretty good. Oregon 2. Okay. Uh, the play is definitely Kage here. Since Porygon 2 carries Psybeam and Psychic. This is safer play. Ooh, man, he's one of his higher levels. I think he's one of, like, his, uh, Dragonairs? No, Dragon Knights? No. Feels like it's Dragon Knight. No, he doesn't carry that same team, though. I don't think in this one. I don't know, I remember his rematch team a lot better. Yeah, like, you know, the Charizard, the Gyarados, the Aerodactyl. I think he's got an Altaria on that team, too. And a Salamence. Then he's got his Gyarados, not Gyarados, Dragonite. Yeah, I think that's another one of them. Ooh, you have an Articuno! Okay! I see you! Is this your ace too? That'd be pretty great. Ooh. I think your ace is 50. Oh. <laughs> Articuno has drought. Oof, 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 oof. Goodbye. I want to say it's 50, not 49, but I could be wrong. Yeah, some knight's pretty strong. What of it? Oh my gosh. Okay! Bro's out here having a Deoxys and an Articuno? And he's like both this ace mons. 
I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the sun. Oh yeah, I'm just two levels below it, taking down legendaries. What of it? Yeah, I guess you deserve that level up. All right, what do you got? What do you got holding in the back pocket? Something crappy? <laughs> this is actually insane. What is this team, dude? Man's out here giving me. Rhyperior and Articuno. Oh man. Even Porygon too, it's like pretty solid. That could be a problem. Okay, we land it. My man's though, like my word, what a team. Okay, Mystery Hypnosis, do I miss? Nope. Gus ain't missing, he's out here. Oh my goodness though, that team. That was a champion level team if I've ever seen one. I, there's one Mon I can't remember. Just give, just give me a second, just give me a second. He let off the Rhyperior, which into Porygon 2. He didn't only have five Mons, did he? There's one I'm missing, I know there is. I, maybe it's because like, it wasn't that good, so it didn't stand out to me. Is it a ghost type? It's not gonna come to me right now, it's fine. But uh, with this being definitely the end of the series, um, <clears throat> I just want to take the second to um, thank you guys for the support you did put in the series. Uh, obviously a lot of series, you know, it kind of uh, wanes after a little while and support goes a little bit down, but I've gotten the support that I've wanted out of the series, so I really do appreciate that. And I will be coming up uh, with a new series uh, starting in June gotta give me like a little bit to kind of set everything up for it but i already have something ready so you guys don't even have to wait that long for it lots of new stuff always coming to the channel because i'm always trying to innovate and i'm trying to bring more out of myself <clears throat> as well as what i'm doing because i just want to do my best and once i do that then i feel like i'll be happy with what i do but I just don't feel like I've reached that point yet. I think I'm getting there, but I just keep taking steps right now. Like I need, I'm in a new bark town. Oh, he must've been my fishing encounter. Uh, I just, I am still working. I still need to improve myself as well as the content that I'm making. And I think I'm on the right path, but it's still gonna take time. So I really appreciate you guys who have came here and supported me and continue to support me so thank you all almost played this game for 60 hours and i still have tokens left over so it's like i did it i definitely won and really it's all thanks to you guys so i hope to catch you guys on the next video stream series that i do so um until then uh stay safe and have a good day